It is now game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals between the Washington Wizards and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Wizards are just one win away from getting back to the Eastern Conference finals for the first time since 1979. After losing games one and two in the first round against the Milwaukee Bucks, the Wizards have now won seven straight playoff games and are looking to close out a four game sweep at home as they host the Cavaliers. And the Wizards have played their best basketball of the season as a whole so far in the past seven games. And if they can close out the series tonight, they'll await the winner of the Chicago Bulls and Boston Celtics series. No team has ever come back from 3-0 down in the NBA playoffs, and the Cavaliers are going to need a miracle and a half in order to get back into this series. So we start the game off. No score in the first minute of the game, but here's Darius Garland working against DeJounte Murray, and he's going to get to the bucket for the first points of the game. So now here are the Wizards. Murray looking to attack right back, passes back out to Porzingis, who pump fakes it, and now he's working against Garland in the paint. And that is just way too easy for Porzingis as he lays it up, and we're tied at two. So now the Cavaliers have the ball two minutes into this game, and here's Donovan Mitchell pulling up with a mid-range jumper, and it's good. Mitchell has played really well in this series despite being injured as Garland gets blocked by Porzingis, and now the Wizards work in transition. Trying to tie the game back up here as Murray passes inside to Beal, and he's going to get the layup to go in, and we are tied once again. So now the Cavaliers trying to take the lead back early. Here's Garland. Steps back in the paint, and he's able to get the bucket to go in. So now Murray, he was wide open to take a shot, but decides to pass it to Beal instead. Now Kuzma with the pick. Beal pulls up, and that is going to be two as his foot was on the line. And we are tied up once again. So now just under eight minutes to go, and here's Beal shooting a three this time, and it goes in for him, and the Wizards take their first lead of the game. So now they're up 12 to six. Here's Kuzma off the pass from Avdia as he works against Jared Allen. Back to Denny now. Osman gets picked and Denny pulls up for three and that goes in. You don't see Denny Avdia scoring a whole lot for the Wizards, but when he's hot, he's hot. And it's 15 to six as the Cavs burn a timeout. So now Beal gets a pick from Porzingis, drives inside right past Jared Allen and he slams it in. And the Wizards have a double digit lead now. Cavaliers do get some free throws, though, to make it a nine-point game. And now here's Mitchell working against Beal. Lays it up, and it goes in. So the Cavs draw a little bit closer. So now here's C.D. Osman getting the pick. And he passes inside to Evan Mobley. And Mobley with the turnaround, and he's going to get it to go in. And it is a six-point game. Now just over three minutes to go. Here's a three from Isaac Okoro. No good. Rebounded by Allen. And he gets the bucket and the foul as Gafford didn't have position to get the rebound. And now it's a five-point game. So here's DeLon Wright passing back to Gafford. Gafford hands it off to Earl Jenkins. Jenkins takes it to the bucket, and it's going to go in. So now a seven-point game. The Wizards are shooting 57% to the Cavs' 44. But here's Lamar Stevens with a wide-open three, and that'll help out the Cavaliers' percentage a little bit more. And now it's a four-point game. So now Kispert. Tries to work his way inside, and now Kespert passes it to a wide open Earl Jenkins who shoots a three, and that's going to go in. Jenkins, for somebody who isn't a very good three-point shooter, has definitely hit some pretty clutch ones over the course of the season. So Barton misses that shot, and now here are the Cavaliers in transition. Pass inside to Stevens, and he lays it in. And now it's once again a five-point game with a minute 30 to go. So here's DeLon Wright. Passes over to Barton in the corner who shoots the three, and that's going to go in. And the Wizards are right back up by eight. So Ricky Rubio drives inside, and now he gives it to Allen. And Gafford just didn't stand a chance there as Allen gets the bucket once again. So now here's Wright getting the pick from Gafford, and he's going to pass it back out. Now Gafford working against Rubio in the paint, and that is a big-time mismatch as Gafford gets right to the paint, and he gets the turnaround layup to go. So the Wizards playing pretty well in this first quarter as Rubio looks to hold it for the final shot. And he's going to get a pick from Robin Lopez. He pulls up for three, and that's going to be no good. So the Wizards have an eight-point lead at the end of the first quarter. And it has been a dominant performance by this Wizards offense so far. Can they continue it into the second quarter? We'll just have to see. So here are the Wizards with the ball here. Murray back into the game. He only has three points so far but 
He's been a big contributor throughout this whole season as he passes out to Beal who misses the three. Abia gets the rebound and he puts it back in. And now it's a 10 point lead for the Wizards. So now here are the Cavs. Here's the pass inside to Mobley and poor Zingas just lost sight of him and he slams it in. So now here's the pass over to Mitchell in the corner. Pass inside to Stevens and he slams it down. And the Cavaliers showing some fight early on in the second quarter. Now Beal gets a pick from Porzingis. Beal drives inside, kicks the KP, and that is a wide open three. You cannot leave Porzingis that wide open if you're the Cavs, especially not in an elimination game. So now Mitchell works his way inside, pulls up. Beal's kind of a half-hearted effort defensively there, and it's an 11-point game now. Cavaliers have now hit a couple of free throws to make it a nine-point game. And now Porzingis with a huge slam, putting Jared Allen on a poster. And the Wizards are really trying to make a statement in the second quarter now as Porzingis works against Allen, drives in, and he lays it up. No foul, but Porzingis is up to 11 points. So now Mitchell drives inside right past Beal, and he's going to slam it in. And he gets the foul as well as Beal's called for the foul from behind. So now it's an eight-point game. Murray gets a couple of picks, and he's going to pass over to Beal, and Beal lays it up. That's going to be no good, but Mitchell called for the foul. So now the Wizards are up 47 to 35. Mitchell works his way inside, and he lays it up, and it's going to go in. So now it's a 10-point game. So here's Beal. He gets a pick from Porzingis. Kicks it out on the drive, and now here's Porzingis taking it in. He's going to lay it up as Allen just vacated the premises. I guess he doesn't want to get dunked on again. So now here's Osman working against Denny. Kuzma pokes it out, and now here come the Wizards in transition as Murray takes it up the court, and he passes inside to Denny, and Denny gets the layup to go in. Sorry about all the glitching that the video is doing again. Just don't use the 4K capture utility from Elgato. It is probably one of the worst uh, capture programs that we have on PC. So now the Wizards are up by 16. Here's the pass inside to Gafford, and he gets the bucket to go in. And this is starting to turn ugly right now. It's a 16-point game. It's definitely not out of the realm of possibility that the Cavs come back here. As Kevin Herter shoots a three, that's going to go in for him. And it's a 13-point game. But still a big lead for the Wizards here. Now Gafford works against Allen, kicks it back out. And now Barton drives inside right past both Herter and Allen. And now it's a 15-point game. So now final minute of the first half. And Herter drives inside, and he's going to lay it up, and it's good. So now it's a 13-point game. Now the Cavs are trying to make it a little closer before the half. And now Okoro passes inside to Allen, and he slams it down. And it's an 11 point game as we go into the half. Wizards have definitely been shooting the ball very well in this first half. And if they can continue within the second half, they're going to walk away with the sweep and get to the Eastern Conference Finals. So now, second half action here as DeJounte Murray drives inside, kicks it back out to Porzingis. Porzingis works against Mitchell now. That is a big time mismatch once again. And Porzingis gets the bucket and the foul. I mean, Porzingis has just been taking advantage of all of these mismatches that he's getting off of these screens, but now Allen gets a dunk of his own, make it a 12-point game once again. So here's Murray working against Stevens. He passes it to Beal, who's wide open off of a pick. He's going to get the three to go in, and it's a 15-point lead once again for the Wizards. Now here's the pass inside, back door by Mitchell as he gets it to go in, and the Cavaliers are definitely not going away quietly. Not that anybody really expected him to, but now here's Murray with the layup. That goes in. He's up to seven points in the game. He's scored 20 points or more in the first three games of the series, and he's looking to do the same in the second half as Porzingis works against Allen. Gets it over to Murray. He pulls up for three, and it's good. And again, I'm sorry about the glitching, but a huge shot there for Murray, who's up to 10 points. So now Beal gets picked, and that frees up Mitchell. That makes it a 15-point game. So now here is Murray. Hands it off to Beal. Beal takes it in against Garland. And now Beal with an easy layup. He's up to 18 points in this game. And he's shooting 75% from the field as well. He's having a hell of a game four so far. Now Mitchell with a big slam. That makes it a 15-point game once again. Now Beal pulls up for three. That's going to go in for him. He's up to 21 points now. A hell of a game so far for Bradley Beal. 
And now here's Mitchell driving inside, and he gets fouled, and somehow that goes in for him as Porzingis picks up yet another foul. So now it's a 13-point game. Pass over to Beal from the wing, and he gets it to go in once again. Bradley Beal is going off in this third quarter now, folks. And now Beal passes over to Jenkins. Jenkins takes it to the hoop. No foul called for some reason. So now it's an 18-point game with under five minutes to go. Mitchell pulls up. He had two defenders in his face, and he still gets that to go in. So the Cavs still putting up a fight here as Beal passes out to a wide-open Will Barton. He gets the three to go in, and he's up to eight points off of the bench. So it's a 19-point lead for the Wizards as Mobley passes over to Rubio. And now Mitchell in the corner for the three, and it goes in. So now 85-69 to 69 is the score. But now here's Beal looking to take over once again, working against Rubio. And he's going to work his way inside and get the bucket to go in. Bradley Beal is having himself a game so far, especially in this quarter as he slams it in. Bradley Beal is absolutely killing the Cavaliers right now as he slams it in once again. He's up to 30 points now. What a quarter this has been for Bradley Beal as Wright is now in the game for him. And DeLon Wright is going to take it in and he gets his first bucket of the game. I mean, just absolute dominance. The Wizards are shooting 78% from the field now and are up by 20. Kispert shoots the three now. He gets it to go in, and he's up to eight points off the bench. So even the bench for the Wizards is starting to kill it right now. And Murray pulls up for three. He gets it to go in, and he's up to 13. It is a 24-point lead for the Wizards. As here's a pass over to Allen. He's covered by Gafford. And back out. Here's a shot, and it goes in. So now a 22-point game heading into the fourth quarter as Murray's going to miss this three from half court. And the Wizards are one quarter away from getting back to the conference finals. So here's Murray. He gets a pick from Gafford. Doesn't use it, though. Pass inside to Gafford regardless, and Gafford slams it in as he is up to six points in this game. And now here's Garland. Cavaliers are going to have to have a damn near perfect fourth quarter, and it doesn't look like it's starting off very well defensively, but Garland's able to hit a three to slow the bleeding down a little bit. And now Mitchell looks to shoot a three from the opposite wing, and it goes in, and now it's within 18 once again. So here's the pass inside to Allen. He's going to pass it back to Garland, and he's going to lay it up right over the head of Murray, and it is now a 16-point deficit for the Cavs as they have to continue to get stops if they want to come back into this game. Here's Murray working against Garland off the pass from Beal. And now Beal comes up, sets a pick. Murray pulls up from the circle, and it goes in as he's up to 15 points in this game. And now Murray gets a pick from Porzingis, and he takes it to the hoop as Allen just did not move his feet there, and the Wizards are back up by 20 now. Here's a pass inside to Kuzma who slams it in. Kuzma's been pretty quiet so far as he is now up to four points in a really quiet game, which isn't really surprising from him. And now Allen gets the rebound off Mitchell's miss, and he makes it a 20-point game once again. So the Cavs still not out of it, per se, but they're going to have to play much better defense than they have in the past few minutes. Porzingis works against Allen now off the pass from Barton, and he's going to take it into the paint. Porzingis lays it up, and it's good. And it is a 21-point game now. And now Mitchell drives in, puts it up. No type of defense there from Kuz. And Mitchell's now up to 35 points. So he's doing his part to get the Cavaliers a win in this series. But he's not getting a ton of help as he takes it in himself and he gets the bucket. So it is a 19-point game. Beal gets a pick now. Beal shoots a three. That goes in and Beal's up to 33. And it is a 22-point game for the Wizards. 22-point lead, I should say. And now Mitchell pulls up again. He is doing everything that he can to bring the Cavaliers back into this game, but it might be too little too late as Porzingis slams it in. And they're just not getting any stops. The Cavaliers are scoring, but they're getting no stops whatsoever as Garland gets a bucket from close range to make it a 20-point game. Now here is Porzingis off the pass from Murray. Gives it back to him. And he gets both men to jump, and now he gets the bucket to go in. Murray's up to 19. Cavaliers are starting to hang their heads a little bit. There's under five minutes to go, so not a lot of time. But it's still 
technically possible. Allen misses a shot there. Now Wade goes back up with it, and he gets it to go in as Beals called for the foul. So now it's a 19-point game once again. Murray trying to get over 20 points once again, and he's going to do so successfully as he is up to 21 points now. He has had a huge, huge series as there's a miss by the Cavaliers. The Wizards in transition. Here's Murray again. Takes it to the hoop, and it goes in. And it is 122 to 99. So all the Cavaliers can really do is spoil the Wizards fans by not letting them get tacos by holding the team under 100 points. But then Kuzma is going to answer back with a three. He was pretty quiet today, but now he's up to nine points. And now Mitchell lays it up as he's still trying his best to get this team back into the game. He's had a huge game. It's really not his fault that they're losing. As Beal drives inside, passes it to Porzingis, and he gets the bucket to go in. And it is just getting ugly now. And the Wizards are going to start putting their backups in as Garland gets a bucket to make it a little bit more respectable. But I don't know how much you can really make it respectable at this point as they're down by 23 with two and a half minutes to go. Wizards have pretty much all of their backups in outside of Beal as Kispert hits the shot to make it 130 to 105. And now Beal drives inside, trying to put an exclamation point on this one, and he does so successfully with the layup. It's 132 to 107 as here's a desperation three to go in for Donovan Mitchell. He can at least say that he did his part to win this game. And now DeLon Wright drives right inside to get the slam. And the Wizards are going to run the clock out here. And they're going to walk out of the Eastern Conference semifinals with a 136-112 victory as they sweep the Cavaliers. And once again, we'll be going to the Conference Finals for the first time since 1979. This is also just the second time in team history that the Wizards have swept a best of seven series in the playoffs. The only other time being in 2015 when they swept the Raptors. And now the Wizards get a good bit of rest before facing either the Boston Celtics or the Chicago Bulls in the conference finals. Looking at the stats of the game, Bradley Beal had 35 points and eight assists and he was 13 of 15 from the field and five of seven from three point range. DeJounte Murray had 23 points, seven assists and a steal in this one. Did have four turnovers, but he was nine of 12 from the field. Kristaps Porzingis had 23 points and six rebounds in this one. And Corey Kispert had 10 points off the bench. Now you really got a feel for Donovan Mitchell in this series as he just really put the team on his back. He had 46 points in this game but it wasn't enough to get the Cavaliers the victory here. Jared Allen added 16 points at 11 rebounds. He also had two steals in this one. Darius Garland had 15 points and five assists, and he shot seven to 16 from the field, so not the best game for him. And the Wizards are now heading back to the conference finals for the first time, once again, since 1979. And they'll be facing the four seed Chicago Bulls who beat the top-seeded Celtics in seven games in the other Eastern Conference semifinals matchup. And in the West, the top-seeded Pelicans will be battling the seven-seeded Mavericks. So we could very well have a battle of seven seeds in the finals. But first, the Wizards got to get past DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. DeRozan and Levine absolutely killed it in the last series, as did Nikola Vucevic, who averaged a double-double against the Celtics. So they're coming in hot. I mean, they've had to play a lot of games, so they might have the advantage of experience having not had as much rest as the Wizards. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Lonzo Ball's had a pretty good series as well, or had a good series, I should say. So the Bulls are not going to be an easy team to beat. They definitely have a lot of talent. We didn't actually have to play Lonzo Ball in the played game against them, so we'll have to deal with him this time. And I'm sure they're still going to have Ayo Desunmu also play a good amount. But we'll have to see next video if we're able to get game one out of the way in Chicago and come out with our ninth straight victory in the playoffs, excluding the playing game. If you want to include the playing game, that'd be 10 straight wins in a row. But will the Wizards be able to beat the Bulls in game one and get the advantage once again? You'll just have to keep on watching to find out.